waiting so long, I'm here to answer your call I know that I shouldn't have had you waiting at all I've been so busy, but I've been thinking about what I wanna do with you I know that my other guys, they've been talking Today is Tuesday, March 26th. It's 9.42 a.m. I have a client at 12 p.m. today. So I'm about to make my coffee, probably chill for a minute, like 30 minutes, and then get ready. So I started wearing bonnet, well, a bonnet, when I sleep again. Because I used to wear one years ago, probably like around 2019-ish. But then my hair started getting longer, and I think the bonnet I had was just like small. I don't know, I just stopped wearing it. And I, well, I did buy a bigger one, but then at that point, I just quit wearing it. It. But I'm trying to wear it again because when I my hair get roughed up when I'm sleeping like I wake my front parts my, my front sections of my hair always end up flat or my um wave pattern it gets ruined when I sleep especially because I'm a side sleeper so I sleep on my left side or my right side so I started wearing a bonnet but I was tired of my hair getting like looking ugly like within three nights of going to sleep I can't brush my hair and fix that. I can't. I would have to section by section spray and comb out and reproduct probably yeah reproduct every like section of my hair to make it look nice again my favorite coffee mug is in the sink right now so i'm gonna have to use a different one let's make my coffee i have to add water i got up early enough that i have enough time to get ready but something tells me i'm still probably gonna run out of time when i get home i need to put dishes away wash the ones that are in the sink it's 42 degrees so i mean that's better than the last couple days it was like freezing the coffee machine is loud I want to like go outside and read and drink my coffee and stuff but uh, I don't really know if I can because then my cats are going to want to go outside. I can't let them do that if I'm going to have to leave. If I have to leave and like they're not back in here and they won't let me bring them in by hand, they're going to be stuck outside and then while I'm gone they might scratch on the door trying to come back in. It's just so unsafe. You know what? I'll probably just stay inside. I'll just read inside when I get home because I don't want them to go outside right now. And I know if I go outside through that door, they're going to want to go. If they hear me out there, they're going to be like scratching the door, wanting to come out there. So yeah, let's not do that. Tastes good. I made it perfect today. So now I'm gonna just sit at the couch. This is me on my couch. I really want to take this off, but like I'm already recording, so I'm gonna leave it on, but I'm gonna take it off soon. This is my YouTube planning book. I got it from Target and I have a lot of YouTube video ideas written in here, which I want to make a part two of like video ideas. This is also like I plan out my videos. Like I planned out this one. It was called the making no i think i changed the the i think this video i called it like my realistic um, a realistic day in my life or something or a weekly vlog i think it no this was the weekly vlog one i don't know i don't remember which one this was march video ideas i planned out like a spring reset vlog i'm gonna just show you because i don't really care if somebody s steals it because like i feel like we all copy and paste on here on youtube like we each other's ideas on here like our videos are always different because all of our lives are different so honestly i feel like it's okay and then i'm gonna check my planner really quick shout out to me because i posted four videos in a row this month i posted one video per week which is a goal that i haven't hit in so long all right so i'm just gonna check like my social medias and stuff and i'm just gonna text some people back my cousin my clients look at my youtube analytics look at my emails hi beautiful you're so beautiful too i'm just gonna check my phone for a little bit and drink my coffee <laughs> Now I am getting ready for my personal training session with my client. So I'm laying out my clothes. I'm laying out these Gymshark pants. They look so freaking small. Um, they're some kind of an animal print looking thing, but it's black, so you can't really tell that much. I actually don't even know if this is animal print. I don't know. I'm gonna lay out this sports bra. I 
I think it's like Under Armour or something. No, Zella. I don't know. I must have got it from Target like a while back. It's all like... And then I'm just going to pick out a shirt. What's the temperature? I don't really want to be like super hot in the gym. The high today is 58, so nearly 60. But that's not... It's still considered like cool weather. So I could wear this long sleeve shirt. I was thinking about wearing this long sleeve shirt. I have to lint roll it because it has like cat hair on it. Somebody got this for me. So it says this on it, but I've never really heard of this. Owner, Wonder Active, or I think it's called Wonder Active. There's this shirt, because it's kind of like a personal trainer shirt. I try to dress more like, quote, professional. I could wear a Gymshark t-shirt, but I usually wear that when I'm working out myself. It's not really like giving professional. And I think my other ones might be like in the laundry but i do have jackets downstairs i could wear so i'm thinking about wearing the one or active shirt because it's just a long sleeve shirt but i like wearing that when i work out and then i have some jackets i could wear some little hoodies um not those i do have this under armor one but it's pretty like a little bit heavy so i don't really think i want to wear that one um i could definitely wear i could wear this blue I don't want to wear that though. So I don't really like these. So I think I'm just going to wear the... I think I'm just going to go with the one or active one. I'm just going to go with that shirt. My cat thinks it's playtime because we always play on my bed. I'm going to show you. I think I'm probably gonna put on some black socks. We're gonna be wearing all black today. These are Adidas. Outfit of the day, linty, some linty socks. Okay, so I'm getting ready now. I'm about to start with putting my contacts in. Get ready with me right now. I'm also going to listen to a spot of some random Spotify shuffles to find new music to listen to. So I put on a rap caviar playlist. I didn't make it. Spotify made it, I guess. I'm gonna listen to that. Figure out, I mean, try to see which songs I like, which ones I don't. That way I can add them into like a playlist and I can have different songs to listen to. <laughs> Oh my god, they play my song. to be leaving right now and i just took my hair down and i'm seeing this mess and i do i have like dry scalp right now and i have a bunch of oil in my hair and i'm like oh my god what am i going to do 
I can't brush it. It's all stuck together. I need a haircut really badly. Okay, I'm gonna try to spray it. Okay, I'm gonna spray it with water. I have a beanie because it's still kind of cold outside. Like, my heat just turned on. It's horrible. I need a haircut. I need to schedule it. Like, I was gonna wait until next month, but I haven't had my hair my ends cut since like october september i don't even know like this is so bad like what am i gonna do i'm gonna have to tie it up no but i can't show my hair i have to like cover it because my scalp is disgusting okay we're just gonna do that i think i got my hair cut in like october i can't even remember but and i got it cut but i didn't get it like re-dyed or anything so my hair really needs to be dyed it's really dry because it's a long story but my hair was like red and then i went to brown but in order to take the red out he had to bleach it out so technically underneath the brown is a very porous bleach and it doesn't look like it but my hair pores are like empty they need to be filled with color so that it's not dry now i just need deodorant and i need to spray myself okay these are my combinations today i'm using um van coconut and vanilla native deodorant spray i'm using um into the night bath and body works body spray and i'm using ariana grande cloud whatever one this is wrist okay okay i'm getting my gym bag my little purse make sure i have like everything i need in here this is an ugly angle like my chapstick my phone i just have to grab me a water okay let's go downstairs now I'm gonna i'm gonna bring a water with me what time is it that's 11 30 i literally have to go why the hell is this separate what the fuck who took this off i got my water i really want a soda i don't think i need like a big jacket so i don't know if i should bring one in case but like i don't know no i didn't need a big jacket out here Okay, my client just parked. She's literally like right next to me. So we're about to go inside. I'm literally so thirsty and hungry. Are you cold? Oh my god, I feel like it feels better than like the other times so. though. But I was like, I left my big jacket because I was like, maybe I won't need it. You always need it. You literally bring it when it's hot. I know.
I still really need to wash my hair, but I'm probably gonna do that another time to be honest because I hate washing my hair It's such a chore So I'm just gonna wash the dishes first. I gotta put dishes away So I'm gonna put dishes away first and then I got some dishes. I need to wash so I'm gonna start by putting away the dishes up t No, I'm gonna start by putting away. No. Yeah, the dishes up top Okay, I put the dishes that were up top away. So now I'm gonna put away the dishes that are in the dishwasher. Sometimes they still be wet. So the ones that are wet, I'm gonna move up top where those other ones were just at. And then whichever dishes are dry, I'm just gonna put them away.
Daniel just got home. I was about to wash the dishes, but he's bringing Subway, so I'm about to eat some of that. I put a dirty dishes do not use sign on the dishwasher because I don't have a full load yet and the dishes that are in there are dirty. I did rinse them off really good but I didn't use soap on them and I don't have a full load yet. So yeah, I put a dirty dishes sign. That way nobody like, you know, comes and eat all these dishes. I'm gonna open my subway. This is what I got. Here's my subway. I got the great garlic sandwich, but I changed some stuff. Italian urban cheese bread. I got it with grilled chicken, 2x Monterey Jack cheese, um, red onions, tomato, lettuce, banana peppers, jalapeno peppers, garlic alioli sauce, and chipotle sauce. I'm trying to take a picture on my Instagram story. It looks like it has no meat on it, but like it does. Two, one.
Today is March 27th. It's 5.43 in the morning and I'm making my boyfriend's food to take to work. So I made two breakfast sandwiches already, but I didn't record me like doing it because I was really tired when I woke up. So like I really forgot. I kinda wanna show you, but I already wrapped it up. I made fruit and yogurt. So I used plain Greek yogurt and then I just put like honey. I just put a bunch of honey in it and then I added cinnamon and we got blueberries blueberries raspberries and strawberries okay i look really really gross right now like disgusting so right now i'm making my coffee and then i'm gonna like plan out my day so i already paid for my hair dye and gloves and my mixing bowl and the developer and all that and so i'm gonna pick it up from sally's as soon as i get the email that it's ready i placed the email last night so i don't they open at 10 today so i don't think that i'll have to wait that long for it to be ready because they'll probably check as soon as they get in there so basically i had red hair if you know you know i had red hair for like seven years and then i professionally had the red bleached out basically and then i had it dyed brown so it's brown, but a lot of the ends where the bleach was at, where the brown filled the bleached pores, they are now, those pores are now empty and my hair is very dry. It needs to be recolored again. Like either that or it needs to be cut off. But like if I cut it, then I would have literally like my hair would be like this short because all of it, like my whole head was red and stuff. But it's been about a year since I've had red hair and had any bleach on my hair. My roots are like pretty long. They're like this long and then the rest is, you know. Okay, so it's currently 826 and I'm making myself something to eat. Um, here's what I'm making. So I made I made avocado toast and I made some tur I think this yeah, turkey sausage cuz I don't eat um pork. So I got the turkey sausage right here and I'm making some more. But yeah, here it is. So I got avocado toast. I put everything but the bagel seasoning on it. In the morning, I don't really like, I'm not really hungry. Like I get, like I'm hungry, but, oh, the counter's wet, Ooh. Like I'm hungry, but I don't really like have that much of an appetite. So I don't know what y'all eat with your sausage, but like you could eat syrup with it, or you can put like ketchup. You could eat hot sauce with it. Today, I'm feeling like I'm gonna eat some ketchup. With my turkey sausage. Mmm. I want to, I kind of want to give my cats a little piece of sausage. Let's get her reaction. Chai, you want to try a piece, y'all? Yeah? Mmm, yummy. Peach, you're blocking the camera. She likes that. I didn't put no seasoning on it, so. Mmm, yum. I know this tastes good. Want some beach? I gotta distract her. Look, beach. You want some beach? Peaches. I threw it over there. Ew. Alright, if you're not gonna eat it, then I gotta sweep the floor. Are you gonna eat it? I'm gonna give her another piece because she really likes it. I need to flip these, I think. Yes. I needed to flip these bad. What the hell? These are very almost burnt on that side. I don't really like milk, but I got some skim milk. I'm gonna drink like maybe like four ounces or so give or take i got skim milk because as a pers certified personal trainer and certified 
fitness nutrition specialist I learned that like you can drink whole milk reduced fat skim milk I mean you can drink whichever one you like however it is recommended by the dietary American dietary guidelines that we choose reduced fat or skim milk in order to look like reduce our saturated fat in all right here's everything I got I got 30 volume developer because I forgot exactly what it does, but I think it's what helps your pores open up more and absorb more of the color. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not a professional hairstylist, so I don't know. But when my hair was red, I always used 20 volume because, you know, my hair was had been... I'd been re-dyeing my hair red so many times that I'd never felt like 30 was necessary. Even though I felt like when I when I did use 30, when I was re-dyeing my red hair, I felt like 30 helped it stick longer. So anyway, I got 30 for this time. So I bought, I used to get this in the color magenta and then I used to get red. Hold on, it's not showing. I don't know why it's not focusing. Okay, so I got black sapphire. So it's basically gonna be a black, but it's gonna have a very blue tint to it instead of just being black like this bowl. I got five because when I was dyeing my hair red, I'd always buy like eight of these just to be safe because I have a lot of hair. And I'm not just saying that to sound like pressed or something, but whenever I get my hair professionally done, they always say I have a lot of hair. So I got a black mixing bowl. I always buy this one. I got a color brush, so I need to open that. And I originally got a two count pair of black gloves. I don't really know the difference between nitro, nitro and whatever else. And then these are vinyl. So, I mean, I guess that's different texture, but whatever. So this is what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna open one of these up, open my brush, open my gloves. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this with a little bit of developer just to do like a couple of test strands on my hair. As you can see, look how it looks damaged. It looks damaged, right? I haven't gotten my hair dyed in a year exactly. So my hair is lacking color. Okay, as you can see, this is what my hair looks like. It looks really oily because I do have a bunch of tea tree oil in my hair. I put it, hey! I put it in my hair about two days ago and I just have not taken it out. I just left it in there, not because I was going to dye my hair, but because my scalp was dry and I was supposed to shampoo it out, but I didn't. But this is my natural color. So if you look at my ends compared to the top of my head, you can see the difference, right? Like up here, it's literally darker than down here where it's about right here-ish. So in a year, I have not dyed my, had my hair dyed and it grew this much. My hair grows really, really fast. I don't have my OG hair dyeing shirt. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I thought I still had it. I don't know why I would get rid of it because it was my granddad's shirt and he's not here anymore. So I don't know, I would not get rid of it, but maybe I wore it. Oh no, I think I wrapped, I wrap up my wet hair in it sometimes after I wash. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a light piece of hair such as maybe like this, well that's like on top. I wanna get like an underneath one. Maybe like this one right here, cause it's kinda light. And I kinda wanna do like a underneath one. And then I kinda wanna take one that's gonna come from the bottom of my scalp where um, it's not as dry, but it's still pretty dry. And then I have strong faith that like the red, this part is going to take very easily. The, these are meant for dark hair. It also works on hair where the color rinsed out. And I would know that because like I've been dyeing my hair red. And even the first time I dyed it red, like it works. Um, I'm pretty thorough at this, so I'm going to do a good job at getting all of the, I'm going to cake the dye on there really good. I'm just going to um, put my hair up and take out the pieces that I want. I'm definitely, I want to do the front piece, but if it goes wrong and looks stupid, that's gonna like suck. I know that's pretty risky doing one that lays right on top, but like it won't be that. If one little piece gets messed up, I can, It's that's not gonna be hard for my professional stylist to fix. So I'm gonna leave that one out and then pull my hair up. And then I'm just gonna take like a piece from under here. I'm gonna do, just do this one. So I'm gonna put a wee bit of dye. I'm really excited. I feel like everything's gonna be okay, but I still gotta do these test strands. I gotta make sure because if I ruin my whole head, mm. okay, this is what I put. So now I'm gonna rinse, I mean, not rinse it, mix it up. And when I was dyeing my hair at the apartment, it kind of sucked because we didn't have a um, a window in the bathroom, but I'm gonna open up 
I'm gonna open up this window. It looks like weird and foamy, but I'm wondering if that's because I shook it up and if I just ruined everything. Cause I normally do not shake it up like that. Like why did I do that? Okay, here we go. Fuck. Oh my God, it's too runny, shit. It's definitely gonna take me like about two and a half hours to dye my whole head. got it on there pretty good i'm gonna take my plugs out and okay i'm gonna set this timer for like like 10 minutes if it gets on my ears it's okay i wiped it off the floor and if you see ooh, it's like a bluish gray remember it was white when i put it on i will be back and we're gonna see what this looks like. okay i currently have my window open and a weight is holding it open because it doesn't stay open the pieces turned out good um the ends of my hair still look dry i'm gonna just have to go get my hair cut soon from what i can see the color it doesn't look like ugly and messed up so i'm definitely ready to do my whole head i do still think the ends like it needs to be cut like it still looks so straggly and i don't I don't know how to cut my hair, so like I don't know if I should do that myself. I'm gonna mix up my dye and then I'm just gonna dye my hair. and so it's been an hour and 20 minutes and I just have to do this section
had this dye in my hair for like 30 minutes total probably a little bit over 30 minutes the bottom half has been in my hair for like two three hours because it took me about two and a half hours to dye my entire head but i had to wait until the top part sat there for about at least 25 minutes so it's been like 30 and now i'm gonna take a shower and wash it out i'm so tired Here's what it looks like. I looked a little bit like really pale on camera, but here's what it looks like. The camera is making me look a little bit more whiter than I am because honestly, my face is not this white. But I don't know, I kind of like how it looks in person because right now I look washed out on camera, but I think it looks really good though. I like it. I like it a lot. My hair is like a little bit less dry since I put color on it. it smells good. I put some, I put this in my hair i still have some stuck in my nails um sometimes it's like hard to avoid that this one i put in my hair it's um a hair serum for after you you use heat it smells still like hair dye but it also smells like the products i put but it, it does smell like it smells good though i didn't do a hair mask and i should have but I probably I actually need to buy like well I have a hair mask a, per, a keratin whatever but yeah I still need my ends cut I wonder what my hairstylist is gonna say when I go back yeah I just I just diffused my hair um the only thing I'm like thinking about like now like after I already dyed it when I draw my eyebrows on um I'm probably gonna have to get a darker eyebrow dip a darker pomade all right now i'm about to go make me and my boyfriend something to eat i am literally starving i'll see you in my next video make sure you like this video comment comment this emoji if you see it thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next video